Welcome to Mkosi Network. Welcome to the channel, guys. Today we chat about how Hugo Bros could not coach Kaiser Chiefs based on what I've seen with Bafana Bafana. Yo, I know, guys. I watched Bafana Bafana today and I was like, no, 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 no. There's a problem here. But anyway, guys, subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Uh, your subscriptions are very important. And as I always say, 88% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. So if you subscribe, you help us grow, you help the channel grow. And it just lets me know if you like the content. Sometimes we talk nonsense, sometimes we don't. Sometimes it's facts, sometimes it's opinions. But yeah, let's kick it to it. The Bafana game played, we had two, two Chiefs players in the team. We had Umtanzani and we had Umtet. They And also we can include that we had Ublom. Um, Blom started, Mteta and Tanzania were on the bench. How do I read um, um, uh, Blom, Tanzania and Mteta's performance? I read it like this. Blom, I will give a six. He was okay, but he looked like uh, heavy. I don't know it's, if it's jet lag because he flies from the USA, but he just looked very heavy. He looked like he was getting tired on the field. It didn't look like the Blom that we know. And when I say this, I'm like, he was like that from the very beginning of the game. So it was, yeah, it, it, he didn't have his best performance, I won't lie. But the one thing he does well is recovery. So he recovers well, etc. But passing forward, etc. It wasn't his good game. If he does, um, based on his performance, what do I think could happen for uh, AFCON? Do I think he has a shot? I think he may have to worry. I do not think... Based on what Mteta also did in the game, I think Blom has to worry a bit about his position at Bafana Bafana for FCON. Um, Danzane, one thing I can tell you for sure, Mtanzane will not go to the FCON in Jan or whenever. Mtanzane played nonsense. Mtanzane will not go to Kev. And if we see Mtanzane in a Hugo Bros a Bafana squad again, it will only be a miracle. A miracle will make Mdanzane wear the uh, Bafana jersey while it's being coached by Hugo Bros. Because Mdanzane was used. There was a point in this game where Mdanzane alone uh, took the ball and ran with the ball outside of the field. Like alone. You know when I say alone, I'm like there's no one there with him. He's alone. He takes the ball, he runs the ball out of the ball out as a towards the corn um as a throw in. I was like, this guy will never play for Bapan. I was like, he he, he must go ask his teammate to Dupree what happened when Dupree missed a, a tap in for, for Bafana Bafana and Hugo Prof said he will never there are certain players he'll never uh, give a call up again. And who was one of those players? Dupree. Unfortunately, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, Teto had a good performance. Um, Teto's performance was decent enough for you to believe he has a chance to make it for Bafana because he was making the right passes going forward. But towards the end, yes, he did lose one or two balls, but I think he was a more positive player when they brought him on. And then let's get to the big question of the day. What do we think about Hugo Bros? Hugo Bros can never coach Bafana Bafana because it, he plays exactly, can never coach Chiefs, sorry, Kaiser okay, Chiefs, because he plays exactly the way Chiefs plays now with Molifin take. It's like the exact same thing. It's nonsense, but they don't have plan B, they don't have plan A. The players like movement, the players play like a uh, final third penetration. Like, if we look at a team like Eswatini, guys, do you understand that Eswatini is a province in South Africa? Hmm? Let me put, let me give you that perspective. Eswatini is a province in South Africa, and Eswatini, yo, oh, guys, I, you know it's crazy to say things like this, but Eswatini is a province. I think the only province that might be bigger than is that might be smaller than Eswatini is maybe Gauteng, but like. That is me giving you an idea that we lost, we drew today against Eswatini. That is basically a province within South Africa, but it's a country. But yeah, it was poor, guys. We were lacking creating. And what happened is everything we 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 complain about that Kaiser Chiefs, Bafana Bafana did. Why do I say that? Lyle Foster was getting the ball wide. 
a lot of the times or he was getting the world the ball too deep then when it's time to find the player in the box it was finding the wrong players Kanye Samayo was missing chances for days um Temba Zwane was off I won't lie uh, it wasn't his best game but they lacked penetration which is weird because I'm like I would have expected more but I will say this South, South Africa right now is suffering from two things it's suffering from sundowns and it's suffering from Kaiser Chiefs. Why would I say something so nonsense like that? Why did I say that? Right now, sundowns, if we all have to be honest, is not playing its best football. And if a team is not playing its best football, it often ends up affecting the big team. And right now, that is what uh, which ends up affecting Bafana. And right now, K Sundowns is affecting Bafana because most of our players are Sundowns players and Chiefs is also affecting Bafana. And Chiefs is not so big, it's small, we don't have enough players there. But the nonsense that the Chiefs players did is nonsense. Because anyway, like, uh, maybe I'm being too harsh with Chiefs. Let me not include Chiefs. Let me say more Sundowns. If Sundowns does well, it just in football in general, I think the national team will do better. But yeah, guys, that's what I think of the game. Hugo Pross, the way he played, he reminded me of the way in Melif and Tiki played. They fail to solve solutions. They just throw in players to solve their solutions. But the players run into the field and find the same problem. It's that thing we always say. If it doesn't work, change the formation. Maybe change the formation. Do a 3-5-2, play wing backs or something. Like change, make, some, make a difference. Sacrifice a defensive midfielder because... When we're playing with the Bochum, Gwen and Blom, we weren't creating. So maybe it needed one extra more creative player. Instead of having at the same time Blom and Teta, etc. Et so that's what I think of the game. Tell me what you think of the game.